Welcome back, everyone. Today we are talking with Eve Rodsky, a New York Times bestselling author of Fair Play, which is also, Donna, a Reese Witherspoon book club pick. Yes, and now she has a new book out called Find Your Unicorn Space. It teaches you how to tap into your creativity. Yes, you busy moms and dads out there. Welcome, Eve. So happy to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. So, Eve, let's get going. Talk about the science connecting creativity with people and mental health, and we can all use that, especially now. I, I yes, we all do. We're all feeling extreme. I, I say there's two types of people in this world: those that feel um, and know they're burned out, and those that are burned out but don't know it. And this book is about the fact that creativity is the antidote to that. The mental health and longevity aspects of creativity show that they're not optional, that they're linked to our mental health and our longevity. The idea that you have talents, interests, and gifts that make you uniquely you, and that you can share those with the world, that's what Unicorn Space is about. And we can't have that at the bottom of a never-ending to-do list because we'll never get there. It should be the first thing that we think about when we wake up in the morning and the last thing when we go to bed. Talk about how you guide readers on how to be unavailable to others and available to yourself instead. Well, think about it. Time is our most valuable currency in this too busy world. And we're taught literally from birth to give it away to others, whether it's our bosses, our family, our friends. But how glorious would it be if we retain some of that currency for ourselves? Find Your Unicorn Space is a practical program back to us through what I call the three C's. Finding your curiosities, connecting with others, and the hardest C, which I call completion. That's the hardest C, at least for me, completing projects and getting them out in the world, which is different as we know than perfection. So Eve, let's talk about that completion a little bit more. Let's dive a little deeper into that. You said that it's a little bit more difficult for you, but how does this help nurture that creative self you're talking about? Well, I think so many of us wait till things are perfect to believe that we need to share them with the world. But actually the beauty is in the imperfect sharing. That's what the science shows us, that once you have a accountability partner, you're 65% more likely to complete something. If you have a success partner, which is someone who does it with you, I call in the book a spiritual friend, you're 95% more likely to complete something. And so that's why it's the, the secret formula is all three C's. The idea that you have a curiosity that's more than what my friend says. She says, I'm only curious about scrolling Venmo transactions. That's not the curiosity <laughs> I'm talking about. I'm talking about talents, interests, gifts that make you come alive. What makes you curious? It doesn't have to be a passion, but something that makes you curious. How do you bring that spiritual friend along with the ride so that you can complete, whether it's a marathon, uh, a cooking class, learning French, or um, as a new good friend told me, she just started to crochet Harry Potter dolls. Eve, was this a hard learned lesson for you to find your own creativity and give us one or two tips for people just to get started? I think when we're burned out and we're busy and we are caregivers, the time for us can feel really, really, really small or unavailable. I know on average, I, women in the pandemic were interrupted every three minutes and 42 seconds. So what I'm saying is that this is not optional. And for me to learn that lesson, I had to burn myself out. I had to get to the point where I was breaking down on the side of the road crying um, over texts my husband Seth sent me like I'm surprised you didn't get blueberries. To rise up to, to say I deserve time, uninterrupted attention for things that I love to do. Um, that is still hard because we're known in the society as parents, partners and professionals. And so that first step, I will say the first step is remembering you deserve a permission to be unavailable from your roles. Eve, this is amazing. And it's, it's such a gift really to so many people out there, moms, dads, parents. Thank you so much for sharing your work and you can find unicorn, find your unicorn space um, very soon. It's out December 28th. Thanks so much, Eve Rodsky.
Thank you. Okay, coming up right here on this special Kids Under Construction, Donna's talking about her new book, The Castle Method, how parents and kids can really benefit after the break.